Bosch headphone plug. Kenny, I could really use a nice simple dummy load for working on my tube amps. Can you help me out here? Hey, Dodie, I thought you were extinct. But, sure, I can help you out. What you got to do is get a quarter inch headphone plug, two four ohm resistorites, one nice switch, then you gotta go to D Lab and see how it's all put together. It's just that simple. Well, you heard Tenny. Let's turn it over to D-Lab to show you how to build that dummy load. I've had a lot of requests. People are emailing me and said, hey, how can I make a simple audio dummy load that is switchable between four and eight ohms without having to buy an entire audio test set for several hundred dollars? Well, I've got your solution. It's right here. It's a little D-Lab audio dummy load, standalone, quarter inch plug goes right into your ramp with a selector switch for four or eight ohms. Let me show you how to build it. So here it is. The little standalone audio dummy load switchable from four or eight ohms at 25 watts. The heart of it is two of these 25 watt four ohm resistors and they're actually mounted right on the ground lug of the quarter inch switchcraft jack, right? So you can see the construction is pretty simple, very durable. So what you do is you unplug your speaker, you plug this guy in, all right? So let's say you're working on a champ. We're gonna go four ohms. So let me take my meter right here, hook it up. So this is what your champ would see. You look there, four ohms, right? Now let's say you're working on a deluxe, right? Flip the old switcherino, bam, eight ohm load, all right? Very compact design, very easy to make. What you need, a few resistors, a jack, a switch, some super glue, and there you have it. So here's a nice close up of the little D-Lab 25 watt audio dummy load. Now keep in mind, I use these 25 watt resistors because I just happen to have them sitting around. But you don't have to make this a 25 watt model. You could do this in a 5 watt model. It'd be a little more compact. But the 25 is actually good for pretty much all of the lower power fender amps. Now I'm going to cut to the schematic here so you can see how it's wired. You can see it's very simple. The resistors are simply going through that switch to select between four or eight ohms. And then, to make it easier, you actually take and identify your switch with a magic marker for your four or eight ohm selection. You unplug your speaker, you plug this guy in. And this makes troubleshooting very nice, so you don't have to listen to the irritating noises coming out of your speaker. If something's wrong, plug in your dummy load, do your troubleshooting. If you have a scope, you can connect across the jack, and that way you have proper loading. You can take a look at the sine wave, and when you're done, unplug it, plug your speaker back in. And there you have it. The very simple audio dummy load, as requested by all my subscribers. I hope this information was what you guys are after. So there you have it, my friends. Another free tech tip by D-Lab Electronics. No, I do not make these and sell these units, okay? I'm giving you the information so you can use your creativity and construct your own. This is one that I used in my shop for normal amp maintenance. The thing's bulletproof. You make one of these, you'll be super happy you did. I hope you enjoyed the video. So let's not let vintage electronics go by the way of the dodo. Keep your solder arms glowing. Keep those questions going to D-Lab Electronics. Tenny, out.